Hey, today I want to talk about under butter. Hey, welcome back. Chaz here from Elevate Coaching. If you are new to this channel, something that I do on this channel a lot is one, I do talk about my training. Um, the other thing that I talk about is I will break down some races when I have the chance to. Some other things I like to talk about is just kind of like what I do, um, not just training on the bike, but what I do as a whole athlete off the bike as well, um, with being a professional athlete and riding for UCI Team Skyline. Um, but the other thing that I like to do is I like to talk about, I want to call them tools uh, that I like to use and that I believe in. Um, and that I will use every day either in training or as equipment or as supplements or for recovery or just better overall well-being like whatever it is I like to pick things that I actually believe in and share that with you today I want to talk about under butter they are a company that um, I've known about for a couple of years now I have used some of their stuff actually mainly I've used their chamois cream and uh, the other thing that I have used in the last couple months is their recovery massage oil. Um, outside of that, you know, I've known about them for a few years. Um, they're a growing company. They're currently based here out of New Jersey. And with me being in the Pennsylvania, Maryland, like Baltimore County area, um, they are actually relatively close to me. So it was kind of cool. I was able to kind of connect with them and talk through all of their products. Um, I was able to have a meeting with them, sit down and really talk through their products and get a good understanding of them. And because of that, I would like to come today now and share with you um, why I think you should check out Under Butter and why you should uh, give it a try if you're searching for either chamois cream, um, some pre-ride activation stuff, uh, post-ride, just kind of simmer down and recovery. Like they got, they got a full range in those three categories. So today I really want to hit on, uh, talk about their chamois cream, and then I want to highlight the other products that they have. So under butter chamois cream, I have used a lot of different chamois creams on the market. I've used, uh, buttonhole I've used, which chamois creams always have the funniest names, buttonhole. Um, I think I've tried these nuts. <laughs> Uh, what else is there? Uh, a chamois butter, that's a popular one. Um, when we were in Europe, I needed chamois cream and I used the ASOS chamois cream. Um, and, and overall, I'm gonna be honest, the one that I, I kind of stuck to over the years was buttonhole. That one was decent. Um, I haven't used it in a while. I use chamois butter. I'm gonna be honest, chamois butter lasts 30 minutes and then it's gone. Um, the ASO stuff I picked up in Europe, same story, 30 minutes and then it's gone and I'd still get chafed on like four hour rides. But with that, Under Butter chamois cream is one of the only chamois creams that I've used that has actually last for the entirety of my ride. Um, with doing the long hours that I do, four and a half, four and a half, you know, four hour ride, four and a half hour ride like two and a half hour ride. I mean, I'm doing long hours on the bike. And the one thing is under butter chamois cream is actually one of the only chamois creams I've used that has actually lasted for the whole duration of that ride. Now, I'm not just saying this to say that, like I'll be honest, I get home and when I remove my bib shorts after a four and a half hour ride, one, I'm not chafed, two, I can still feel a little bit of the chamois cream like on my skin. Like I can actually like feel where I applied it and still feel just a fine thin layer of it there, which again, that's going to cut back on the chafing because it's still there protecting. Um, the other thing that I've noticed, I've been using under butter religiously for the last week and a half due to my increased volume. And the one thing that I've definitely noticed is not only have I not had really any chafing or any saddle sores, but the other thing too is just the overall area of that skin has gotten, it's not really like uh, 
oh, I don't even know how to explain it. Like when you get chafed and stuff, it gets very rough and just angry and inflamed. But honestly, it's almost like the underbutter has really allowed it just that area to heal and just go back to normal and being just soft and smooth. So something to consider if you're thinking about it, chamois cream, and you're looking for something that long, works a little bit longer than just 45 minutes, uh, check out underbutter chamois cream. Definitely am a fan of them. Use them all the time. Um, I do have the code for that. Chaz15 gives you 15% off on any order that you do from their website. I believe it does it multiple times too, not just on your first order. So check that out. But let's dive into some of the other things that Underbutter brings to the table. Now Underbutter has not just chamois cream, but they also have um, some, some massage oils and they have some slav or it's kind of like a uh, like a paste in a way and one of the things that i've liked that i've been using a little bit of lately is their activating muscle rub now this is their muscle rub activation this is actually a sample size i do have the full size uh tub canister right here um, but this is going to be a basically it's a paste it's a slav Let's get that in there for you. It's a, uh, a paste that you can just take and put straight onto the muscle area where you need to. And um, basically the ingredients in this, there's nothing that's performance enhancing in here. It's not like it's gonna go in and buffer lactic acid or anything like that. Um, but it smells pretty good too. It smells like, um, like orange, orange in a way. Um, but anyways, they got uh, a little bit of capsicum in there. They got uh, black peppers in there. They got lemon, they got peppermint. Uh, they got some essential oils in there. The other thing that they have that's really big is they got, um, it's infused with the oil from the Arnica uh, mountain flower, which a lot of companies use Arnica, but it's in a very watered down way. I mean, I wish I had a shot of this, but when I went to uh, when I was talking to Rich, the owner of Underbutter at the Philly Bike Expo, he actually had a sample of what the number one selling Arnica oil is on Amazon. And then he had his that they use for the oils and stuff and the slobs. And it was crazy because the one from Amazon, the number one selling one, it was like very see-through. It was like slightly tinted. And the one that he uses is like extremely tinted. Like you barely see through the bottle. Um, the Arnica flower that they use is they get it from the actual flower and they are able to break it down and just get a fuller concentration of it into this stuff. But anyways, this muscle rub, activating rub, basically what it does, it doesn't act like an embrocation. It's not a embro cream at all. It doesn't do any lactic acid buffering or anything like that, like lactigo would. What it does is it helps to start bringing blood flow to that area and start to kind of dilate the blood vessels and just get a little more blood flow into the area where you apply it. Now that's gonna be huge for if you're about ready to go work out, you know, if you get more blood flow into that area, those muscles are gonna be warmed up and ready to go quicker than opposed to having to take a, a longer standard warm up without them. Now, I'm not saying that you're gonna be able to put this on your bike or on your legs and then jump on your bike and just get out to it. But I have noticed that um, instantly my legs do feel better on the bike um, from the minute I start pedaling out the driveway to when I don't use it. Um, some days, I mean, it takes me, you know, anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes to kind of get the things flowing. Um, but when using the activating muscle rub, I have noticed that, you know, anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes and my legs feel pretty primed and like ready to get going. So that's one thing I like about it. Now I have used the Slav. I like the Slav a lot. Um, the other thing they have is they have a, this is also a sample size. I have, I have the full blown one here. Let me see here. Uh, oh no. Um, this would be their massage oil. Comes in a glass bottle. It's pretty sweet. But um, they have it in a Slav paste form and they also have it in this cool massage oil form. Anyways, this is another thing to try out. Um, some people that I, I coach and whatnot have actually been trying this. They like it a lot. So that's another thing that Underbutter brings to the table. And lastly, the one that I wanna talk about that they also brings to the table, which I think is pretty sweet, 
is their simmer down recovery formula, um, which is going to help with just easing of general pain. It's going to help with reducing some inflammation. Um, it's going to help just kind of like relax that area, relax those muscles. Um, one thing that Rich has noticed, he's a surfer. Uh, he says he uses on his uh, his joints and tendons and things like that, and it really helps with the muscle soreness. Um, if you have any like spasms or nerve pain or anything like that, it's supposed to help with that as well. Um, and basically, I mean, this is just a little bit different. It's going to be, oh, can I see the ingredients on here? Yeah, I mean, again, they got the Arnica flower in there, but they also are gonna have a lot of different wood oils in there. They're gonna have peppermint, they're gonna have sandwood, eucalyptus, lavender, um, some seed oil, um, cedar, some different oils in there, essential oils in there that really helps to kind of promote kind of just a relaxation. Cause if you can start to bring the relaxation in and switch from fight to flight to more of like rest and digest, then your body really gets into a rhythm of just promoting recovery. So again, they're gonna come in uh, the sick Slav container, which I've used a little bit of that. It smells very pepperminty. Um, it's not like overwhelming, but it's got a little bit of that. And again, it's gonna come in a massage oil. Um, I do like this one, like if you really wanna get in there and just rub out those sore muscles, just the whole leg. Um, I do use the massage oil. The other thing that I use for areas that are a little bit more tender or if like I have a, sometimes my IT band on my side of my leg will get a little bit tight. And um, if rubbing with the oil and stuff doesn't work, sometimes I will use the slob just to kind of get on there and help with that. Sometimes too, I get knots in my calf and I'll throw this slob just into that area and just really work it in. But that's something else I've been using more. So I've used chamois cream quite a bit. I have used the simmer down before I met with Rich and kind of got on board with him and their whole line. Um, the one thing he gave me recently was the activating muscle rub that I haven't used, but I've been using that lately and I do like it. And again, it's not like an embrocation and it's not like a lactic acid thing. I honestly really don't feel any heat from it, um, but it does kind of help to, to get the blood flowing. Now that is basically the Underbutter brand. Um, like I said, you know, this is a company that I really have grown to like over the last couple months. Um, I'm, I've known about them for a couple of years now. I've used some of their stuff here and there for a couple of years, but in the last couple of months, reached out, really learned a lot more about them, just how they how they work, um, how they source their their supplies and their their ingredients. Everything is natural. Everything, nothing is put in there to to cause any. Um, harm on your body. Nothing really in there is anything that is a, a byproduct of hurting our environment, anything like that. Like everything they use is very natural. Um, and he's uh, also done some studies on just how it works and how effective it is. And all that information you can find on their website on underbutter.com. Um, but again, I mean, chamois cream, it's the one thing I use the most really love. It lasts longer than an hour compared to other chamois creams on the market. Um, I do find that it actually holds up for a long four and a half hour ride. Again, I use the activating muscle rub um, pretty often pre-ride and I do use the simmer down after hard days. I'll use the simmer down on some of the muscle areas that are a little bit more tender or sore. Um, on rest days, I tend to use it too just to, like after I, I go do some foam rolling, then I'll use the simmer down. Um, but outside of that, I mean, that is the full line of Underbutter. Something I believe in, something I like, something I think you would enjoy. So again, Chaz15 will give you 15% off on any order you get from them online. Um, I, and again, I make no money on that. It's purely just for you guys to use. So check them out if you haven't. Um, outside of that, man, just uh, keep training and uh, racing hard, guys. And I know we're in the heat of off season, but it is what it is. See you guys in the next video.